Hello everyone, I'm of course John Doe, right here in Tokyo, Japan. And we're going to do another edition of the da -da -da, Ghost Hunters Report. Now we have something quite interesting currently being proposed, and I believe most likely will pass in the city of Osaka. They have this uh, first ever hate speech law. Uh, first time in Japan. Any type of uh, attempt to regulate hate speech. But what it's actually, the details of it are quite odd and a bit interesting here. Uh, it comes in two forms of this law. First one will be they'll set up a panel of experts, which there's no details on how they're going to set that up, for reports and complaints of hate groups and hate speech. Now, if this uh, panel of experts deems it is hate speech and it is a hate group, those, the members of that group and the name of the group will be published publicly. The names will be put out on the streets, the pictures of them, things like that. So it will be a kind of a public shaming which will go on there. So everybody will know who they are, what they look like, and what they're doing. And like I said, it's kind of like the public shaming tech its course. In theory, I guess. Now, if it's an urgent matter, again, there's no details as of yet on what urgent means. I guess it will be pretty clear. The mayor of the city can override the panel of experts and take direct action, direct action including everything that the expert, panel of experts can do, plus additional actions like um, requesting or trying to demand or trying to force uh, the host of the website of these hate groups. And I assume some various other extra things that the mayor will be able to do. The second part of this will be if an individual sues a hate group for damages and they win the case, they'll be exempt from paying um, all or part of the fees or loans or any type of cost involved in the, in the court case. Now while this is a step in the right direction, of course, because, you know, I've made videos on my side channel talking about let racist and fucked up people and hateful people speak their mind and let people uh, take care of them so we can identify who they are. I also believe there is limits to freedom of speech. Now, after you identify who these people are, which groups they are, and what they're doing, and society deems that they don't want this, this is not how they want their society to be. They don't want that part of their society. I think it's perfectly natural that laws are put into place to shut such people and groups down. Although that's maybe a controversial um, statement for some of you. But really, what this law does, or be more clear what it doesn't do, it truly deals with systemic problems of discrimination and hate speech and hate groups in Japan. Because this law really doesn't tackle systemic problems of discrimination in the government, especially when it comes to ethnic Koreans, when it comes to education, ability to get jobs, things like that, and also all the various social problems and social contradictions which are systemically related to Japanese society overall when it comes to this type of thing. And like I said, especially ethnic Koreans, they've been hit particularly hard in recent years by hate groups and hate speech, uh, different actions and things done to them and said to them. It's getting worse here. Yeah. So while this doesn't really go after the heart of the problem, it is kind of a step in the right direction. It's at least giving some type of way to officially identify who, hate, who the hate groups are, what they're doing, what they're saying. But kind of put them on notice. Kind of let the people decide how they're going to handle it. So it will be interesting to see <coughs> the effect this law will have on Osaka if and when it is passed, because if it is passed, it will probably go into effect this fall. And like I said, I'm pretty sure this will pass. So I'd like to hear what you guys think about this. Is this a good thing, bad thing, support it, against it? And tell me why, I'd like to hear. So until next time. This is me, John Doe in Tokyo. Check it out.